Hi, everyone. So we are day three on BOGOs in the US. Uh, today is an incredible, incredible BOGO. If you purchase the 10 ml Immortel anti-aging blend, you do get a 10 ml frankincense touch for free. These are amazing. Anything skin related is what you're going to want to do, use them for. So very, very excited to be live with you today. Um, as you know, if you don't know me, my name is Jada and I'm doing the education for both the physical and the emotional uses of the oils. This is really a power combo for anything skin related. So let's dive in with the Immortel first. I uh, personally use this one every day. I like to roll a little bit in my fingertips and then take a little bit of moisturizer and blend it in together and then massage it in. And if you have one of those jade rollers, it really gets it into those, not just the top layer of the skin, but really works it in. Um, as I was saying, it's called an anti-aging blend. You can see right there, anti-aging but it does so much more. You can also no roll it on meat. You can actually really take it around the eye area. Um, if you have an age spot, which I do have right here, we recommend three times a day, just dab a little bit on and really just get it in there. I like it around the eye area. Um, super, super, super great. So let's talk a little bit about what's in the blend because it's a very concentrated blend, which is why I like to blend it with my moisturizer. But like I said, you can also use it neat. Inside the proprietary blend, this one, we have frankincense, sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. So you've got a lot of heavy hitters, really, really powerful oils. And it was formulated for to support with skin appearance of wrinkles, appearance of fine lines. You can apply nightly or twice a day if you feel the need. Like I said, for age spots or anything like that, at least three times a day. If you find that you have scarring, what you can do is you can really put it on the scar tissue and massage with a little bit of coconut oil for 30 seconds to a minute really until you get, you feel like the scarring is breaking up and you'll keep doing that until you get the desired result on that scar tissue. Um, any discoloration, you wanna blend that in uh, and, and start using it two to three times a day for uh, anything like that discoloration in your skin. Also, if you have accumulation of bleeding anywhere, you can use that. And it's even known to support with moles. So if there are moles that are starting to change shape, things like this, you can use this one directly. I love it for meditation on our third eye, the spiritual eye. Um, it really works to open up that center. So for the emotional usage of Immortel, I really like, uh, there is actually a recipe for an ageless serum that we call it. So what you would do, you would get a dropper because this is a roller ball, right? So you would need to open this up and get a dropper, a droplet to get these out. You would take a little jar and you will take 20 drops of the Immortel. You take 10 drops of Yarrow Palm, which is the blue oil. And you take one teaspoon of jojoba and one teaspoon of coconut oil. And you mix it all together. This is gonna be quite thick and yummy. And you take a little bit, just like a pea size, less than a pea size, night serum, and you put your moisturizer on and you use that as a treatment. This is really, really powerful. If any of you have issues with the skin on your hands that's starting to show signs of aging, it's wonderful to put in there also. And um, I really, really love um, putting in, uh, I get the spa blue one the thick hand and body lotion that has no scent and i can put my own scent and i mix a little bit so sometimes i take a little bit of this and that thick luscious which is full of cocoa butter and beeswax it's like really really thick and, and moisturizing you put a little bit of that all over your body and your body starts to really glow and it's great for the skin so for the emotional usage like i said for meditation, I like to put it on the third eye. 
Um, this is an oil of spiritual insight, the immortal. And it is an oil that is very, very high vibrational. When you think about frankincense, it's one of the highest vibrating oils. The rose is the highest vibrating oil. You've got myrrh, helichrysum, sandalwood, incredibly big players when we're talking about vibration and, and the molecular structure of the oil. So it is one of spiritual insight. It's one that's gonna bring light to you. It guides, it quiets the mind and it fosters inner stillness and encourages spiritual growth. It is also one that offers grace and comfort when one feels discouraged or distressed. So if we're going through a period of darkness, it supports us in releasing negative uh, negativity, limiting perceptions, limiting beliefs. Um, it can really support us if you've gone through a period of spiritual blindness where we feel very isolated and alone and without support. If you look at the theme of the oils this whole week, right, it's really there to support your emotional growth as well as the physical so that we're not getting stuck. Um, this oil is really, really great to transcend darkness. It transcends pain and the stresses of life into the brightness and light and raising our level of consciousness, preparing us for really new heights and new spiritual levels. I think when we're looking at the world right now, when we're seeing what's going on, this is an oil that many people might not realize you're using it to appear, uh, to, to fix any appearance of blemishes, but what's actually happening is you're gaining a higher consciousness and you're expanding the way you see the world. It's part of the collective awakening. So for anyone who's on that train of thought of expanding your awakening, this oil is really going to be supportive for you. Frankincense is the one that you're going to get for free. It's a 10 ml frankincense touch. Whenever you see the touch, that means it's already diluted with coconut oil, which means it's in a roller ball and you, it's safe to use for the whole family, children alike. So whenever you have the roller ball, it's super easy to apply to any pulse points. Pulse points meaning your wrists, the elbow crease, behind the ears, the back of the neck, um, even the temples, right? I like the heart as well. So frankincense is the oil of truth. It is also one, if you're familiar with symphony of the cells, it's the first step in the uh, symphony, the SOC, we, call, we shorten it, SOC, S-O-C, symphony of cells treatments. That would be the regular frankincense. You would put it up on the shoulders, let the person smell them and put the rest under the feet. But if you don't have the regular frankincense, the 15 ml with the drops, this is a great one. You can roll it directly onto the shoulders of the person laying there before they get the treatment. Uh, frankincense, uh, we source this in Somalia and it is uh, an incredibly difficult oil to source. When they, the people who actually harvest the frankincense, they crawl out onto, you have hills and big valleys and the frankincense boswellia, it grows sideways and they have to crawl out and it's extremely dangerous to get this. And then they carve into the tree and there is a certain maturity level that has to happen and you can't over carve a tree, you can't over harvest a tree. And they're very, very specific with this old, old tradition, and they know this in this region. So they really take care of the trees and let it regrow until they can harvest it again. And then there's the women, they sort it all through and then you start getting it. It's a resin. So it's an incredibly powerful oil. Um, I actually have a little picture, which I love. It's a picture of the resin. You can see what it looks like right there. Super, super powerful. It's been used in ancient Egypt, thousands and thousands of years. It's incredibly good for anything neurological. So when you're looking at anything to do with the brain, with the brain, it crosses the blood brain barrier, which means you getting the proper nourishment into the brain without the toxins, because there's no byproduct, no fillers, no chemicals in our oil, right? The way it's sourced. So when you're looking at anything cognitive, uh, we can look at feelings of anxiety, feelings of depression, if you have um, signs of uh, memory loss, 
signs of the brain not working in an optimal way, you can massage it straight into the skull. So things like Alzheimer's, dementia, all of that, it's going to support with the blood going through to the body. It's, it's just supporting the neurological function. Um, it's incredibly good for signs of aches and pains. You can massage it directly into the area and start to support the body in regenerating the cells that's going to need to recuperate. So anything where you need a cell that's not functioning well to die off and a cell to recuperate and regenerate, this is the oil you wanna go for frankincense because it really works to regenerate those cells. It is very high in monoterpenes, apinine. It makes the frankincense oil very restoring and also um, supports us in letting go of the darkness. So again, together with the immortel, the emotional use of frankincense is going to be one that's really revealing what's happening so that we can get to the root and have the cell go from a sluggish vibration, raise it up to a high vibration. And the higher our body's vibrating, there can't be disease, right? That's the goal. The goal is really to get our cells at such a fine tuned level that the low vibration of a disease can't enter. So with the frankincense emotional usage, um, or the emotional purpose of it, it's the oil of truth. With meditation, with yoga, with anything where you want to quiet the mind and really, really get the, see the forest from the trees, right? We really want to discern frankincense on your third eye, anywhere around smelling it is going to help you dispel that cloudiness, the brain fog, the darkness. It is an incredible oil to restore one's relationship with the father. So when one feel, and this could be father in real life, paternal father, it could be someone who's been a father figure. It can also be on the grander scale of father, meaning God, divine grace holding us. So when there's been a distortion in any of those relationships, the underlying cause can often be that we feel alone, um, that we're having to have coping mechanisms that are not necessarily our true nature. And so what can support us by using frankincense is restoring us to our truth, the real essence of who we are. And I believe that what's happening right now really on planet wise is an, a grand, grand awakening where people are awakening to their true self. We all have an incredible uniqueness and we can't bless the world unless we tap into that. So the combo of these two oils is all about getting you to your true, true nature and not being scared of showing that and sharing that with the world because then you really bless the world with your gift. Uh, in addition to that, it assists as well with spiritual awakening, uh, really so that we can feel the love of the divine. And I love that, like feeling the love of the divine, that hug of one's father, whether it be a spiritual father, father figure, paternal father, you really feel safe. So it's the sense of safety. And also it nurtures and guides and protects us in the journey of revealing truth. So it's not necessarily a harsh oil. It will allow you to see it gently without shaking too much. Um, it enhances this practice practices of prayer and meditation. So if you've been away from it, if you want to go deeper, this is a, a perfect oil to companion that. And it, uh, um, it opens spiritual channels, allowing the individuals really to connect to source, get right down to it, connect to the source. It allows us to draw closer to divinity, divinity and healthy masculinity. So healthy masculinity is not just for men. Women possess a lot of masculine energy. And if it's too much masculine energy, we often can exhaust our adrenal glands and we're not balanced enough into our feminine energy. And this is not necessarily fault of our own. We live in a world where 
it's promoted that women need to be rough and tough and they can do everything and they can handle everything, but we're not designed that way. So if we're too much in the masculine energy, we can actually develop quite severe um, diseases that are not supposed to be in our body simply from exhausting our adrenal glands. So this one will allow us women to return into the softer feminine energy because we get a healthy attachment to the masculine energy in our body and to the men around us. So it's incredibly restoring. Also the grander and true self. Again, it, it's, it will keep coming back to our true self. Like I said earlier, when we really, really connect to our true self, that's when we experience the magic. Okay. That's when we can bless the world. So please stock up on these. These are not necessarily, um, these are, these are like medium to the more expensive side of the oils. So I wouldn't say expensive for what you're getting because it's a 10 ml and it lasts for a really, really long time. I mean, these will last you for months and months, even using every day because you use so little of them, but because it's a really, really good value, it's worth stocking up on that now. So that's what I would say to you. Um, excited to be with you for the next couple of days of these BOGOs. I hope you're enjoying them and really learning and learning a lot of new aspects. Like I said, uh, I'd love to dive into the more of the emotional aspect. I do believe just from having experienced on my own body, majority of what I experienced physically really had an emotional underlying root. And when I cleared the emotional underlying root, my physical body stopped showing symptoms. So I love supporting people in gaining that freedom, allowing them to connect to their core, their truth, their voice, so that they can really have the freedom physically and emotionally in their life. Uh, nothing beats that level. So enjoy these oils. Let us know how you're doing with them. And I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for checking in.